Okay, bye. See you. Bye, bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you. Are we gonna take a lift? Hey, but you actually you never, never told me. How did you get in the program? Oh, so like I started participating in Erasmus projects like when I was 17, but only mm -hmm. only youth exchanges, oh, training okay. courses, you know, mm -hmm. but never on any ESU. So I heard that like you could go for like two months, two months, and then extend. You know, you can go somewhere, mm -hmm. wherever you want. So yeah, I just started looking for projects on the youth portal. You don't want to go to long term? I I firstly wanted to go on a short term mm -hmm. to see how it's like, mm -hmm. and then I extended. <laughs> so now I'll be in Turkey for the year. I wanted to buy some smith. Is it okay? Yeah, sure, sure. You can yeah. stop there to buy something. But how was it for you? For me? Yes. Oh well, uh, you know that I applied before several years ago when I was still at university. I applied for a uh, volunteering long project and I wasn't accepted. I was rejected. Yeah, and mm. uh, but after that I finished university and I thought, okay, I need to do this again. I need to try to do it again. And I applied and I was accepted, fortunately. Mm. Yeah, I'm here. Merhaba. Merhaba. Um, Poça bir tane. Monica, have you ever been rejected yes. for any programs? Actually, I have been rejected three times before being accepted to this one. Because I applied to I applied to projects in Gaziantep. Uh -huh. In uh, where else? I think Istanbul and maybe Izmir. And I think like I was too late with my application or I didn't have the skills that they were asking for. So yeah, they, they rejected me and then I just continued applying. So yeah, I got accepted to this one in Ankara. What is your story? How did you apply? Actually, my story is not that, not that special. I guess my mom sent us the invitation, you know, but since I was rejected by Erasmus programs a lot, maybe not the Erasmus programs, but the ones that, you know, were doing the selection, um, I applied. I didn't expect anything because, as I said, I got rejected so many times, just like mm -hmm. you, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was thinking, if I get accepted, it's gonna be fantastic. If I don't, it's it's okay, you know. I still have something to do. And when I actually got accepted, I was so happy. I didn't know what to do. I even started crying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I was so happy and. And since, as I said, I didn't expect anything, it, it, like, it was even more special for me. <laughs> because finally, you know, at some point I felt like I, I didn't deserve it maybe. Because, you know, when you get rejected constantly, mm. you yeah. start yeah. thinking you like something's yourself, wrong with yeah. me, like I'm not I good know. enough. I know. Uh, but actually coming here, I, I mm. met a lot of people and I, I realized I, I am good enough, you know? Everybody's mm -hmm. good enough. Mm -hmm. Every, everybody is more than good enough. Sometimes it's not gonna happen from the first time. It, of course, there are lucky people and it, they can get in from the first time, from the beginning. But sometimes it's just, you have to work and believe in it a bit more, you know? Yeah, mm. but as I said, like everybody is worth it. Turk and my ones are one. Turk Yes. 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 Oh, no, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Um, yeah, because, you know, I have you guys. I'm, I got some friends here in Ankara. Also, I learned new things. Yeah, for example, I learned how to, you know, use Canva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for... Oh, yeah. That's a very good Yes, skill, for thumbnails. Yes, for uh, post in Instagram, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't use it before. Like really, it's my first time, and uh, now you know I can do something, mm -hmm. and I'm happy about that that I can do something by my own. You know. Uh, yeah. Also, this video editing, like mm -hmm. I proved my skills in this. So yeah, that's 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 nice. I, I like being here. Yeah, nice. nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see, guys, the thing with Erasmus projects is that you go, you make long-lasting friendships with people. You get to know the locals. Once you come here, here, whatever that may be, Turkey, Spain, Italy, whatever country you may choose for an ESC, for example, you make long-lasting friendships. And at the same time, you develop skills. Uh, you may come, I don't know, with a very, very basic down to zero maybe skills and once you get here you develop the skills or the menu yeah like if you were to ask me months and months ago if i would be able to you know speak turkish with the locals and order coffee i thought i was like ah, maybe <laughs> maybe not it depends I need to be there first. Yeah, now I can. All right, what do you plan to do after the project? Do you have any plans? With after? the skills you have gained here? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm planning to work. Uh, I'm gonna work in the field that I have my bachelor's diploma mm. for a bit. But of course, like, I even noticed when it, from the short term long, uh, for the two, two months, uh, when we got the uh, youth pass. I uploaded it in, in my LinkedIn, you know, and I noticed that I got even more um, views, mm. you know, on my oh, profile yeah. and job offers. Yeah, nice. actually, I'm not joking. Like, it was super surprising for me yeah, because yeah, I didn't yeah, expect okay. it. I thought it, I'm gonna upload it, you know, and uh -huh. nobody's gonna see. Uh -huh. But they did. Wow. Oh, yeah, great. yeah, and I, I yeah. actually got like in a day I get ten views in my profile, like on LinkedIn, when, yeah. since I uploaded my youth pass. Okay. So. It's very useful and I didn't think it's gonna be this useful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you wanna go? Yeah, I think we can go. Let me ask for the price. Coffee are how much? Do you want to see? Coffee are how much? 10 TL. 10 TL, okay. Like 5? Uh, no, 10. I give you coins. Yeah, 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 I know. Coins? How did you say coins again? How did you Bozuk para. Bozuk para. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't know this expression. I didn't know it as well. Mm. No. See, you learn everything. Yeah. You mm -hmm. learn something new every day. The weather is so good. It's, it's, it's already October, right? It's October already, but it's still warm weather. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I know. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're okay. lucky because I know that in Ukraine now it's like uh, 14 degrees, mm -hmm. you know. So I feel lucky. <laughs> yeah, Lithuania is the same. Yeah. Like it's super cold. Even my parents. I talked with my mom and dad yesterday, and they were like, mm. oh, "It's so cold." Yeah, like, yeah. You're so lucky. It's 20. Yeah. So then you're just wearing your t-shirt, you know, and some yeah. easy, like light jacket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's good. I'm gonna go grab oh, so mm -hmm. somewhere, like mm -hmm. a cement or something. Yeah. We're gonna meet home. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.